President Hassan Rouhani arrived in New York and tweeted the news, presenting himself as pragmatic and modern. For his world debut, he met a number of leaders, including the French President François Hollande. At the General Assembly, his speech was sober. He tried to allay suspicions about his country's nuclear program. Nuclear weapon and other weapons of mass destruction have no place in Iran's security and defense doctrine and contradict our fundamental religious and ethical convictions. Unlike his predecessor Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, the new Iranian president did not deny the Holocaust. No one had to walk out in protest. But President Rouhani also criticized the West for its military interventions in Iraq and Afghanistan, and he called the sanctions on Iran unjust and inhuman. Plenty of people, whether protesters in New York or others, say they will never trust the Islamic Republic of Iran. And it is hard to see how Tehran and Washington's interests in the Middle East can ever overlap, especially in Syria, where Iran supports President Bashar al-Assad. But President Obama is willing to give it a try. We are encouraged that President Rouhani received from the Iranian people a mandate to pursue a more moderate course. And given President Rouhani's stated commitment to reach an agreement, I am directing John Kerry to pursue this effort. The roadblocks may prove to be too great, but I firmly believe the diplomatic path must be tested. World leaders came together for lunch with the UN Secretary General. The White House had indicated they were open to the idea of a handshake at the gathering between Mr. Obama and the Iranian leader. But in the end, there was no handshake, not in real life. Mr. Rouhani did not show up for lunch. American officials said they understood it was perhaps still too complicated for the Iranians. On buildings in Tehran, the old messages about America the enemy are a reminder that 30 years of difficult history will be hard to overcome. So despite the high expectations, there's nothing tangible so far when it comes to Iranian-American rapprochement here in New York. But this is just the beginning of a week-long diplomatic dance between the two countries at the UN. On Thursday, the American Secretary of State will come face-to-face -face with his Iranian counterpart for a meeting with other countries about Iran's nuclear program. Kim Khattas, BBC News at the United Nations.